Good afternoon, everyone. So I do want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas Eve and Happy Holidays. As you guys know, I still have several babies <laughs> that I have to get ready for Christmas. And Christmas morning is right around the corner. Um, so it's tradition in my family. I always let uh, my kids open one present on Christmas Eve and then the rest in the morning. But, as you know, I still would love to get these babies dressed, so I'm going to try to do as many as I can in one video. And if it gets to that point, I might have to do it off video, but I'm hoping to do one last video, whether it's a two, three minute video tomorrow, wishing everybody an official Merry Christmas with all my babies. So let's get started. I have Liam here. He is next in line. So what I'm going to put on him is this cool little dude t-shirt with just a pair of black sweatpants with a hoodie that goes over it and a hat and then these little Christmas booties. They may be girlish but hey it's all for Christmas. <laughs> and of course he has this most adorable outfit on that I put on him a little while ago and I hate to take it off of him but he wants to participate in the Christmas spirit so we are going to do just that take his cute little boots off that are just too adorable and I hope everybody's doing well and I hope everybody got everything that they wanted to get done for Christmas and all their shopping um, actually Glenn is out now because he had a couple last minute things he needed to pick up and uh, yeah so it seems like here we're never done <laughs> oh I absolutely love this outfit all right so you're gonna see his bald little head for a moment say oh look at that head such beautiful modeling okay I'm trying to stretch here I love these little sweater knitted little outfits that they sell they're all so adorable, and I love it when they have the matching hat. One of these days, he's going to grow hair, but before he does, I wanted to add a, a texture varnish on this little guy. Oh, there he is. Oh, sorry. I'm, the way I'm set up, he's pretty far from me. And the tripod's in my way, so I have to work around it. All right, so of course with YouTube and all these crazy things that are going on, I'm going to have to pause you so I can change his diaper. All right, so he has his Christmas diaper on. He's got the little Santa diaper, and now we're going to get this buttoned back up. I do want to keep this white onesie on, even though we're putting another one over it. It's okay. Yeah, it's so crazy how these cloth babies are getting flagged. <laughs> so let me tear the tag off. I'm going to walk around this way. It may be easier to get this over his little head. Or his big head, rather. Oh, isn't that face just scrumptious? He's definitely having a happy dream. What do you guys think? Alright, yeah, he is my only baby that I want in my collection to have semi-red hair. Kind of a strawberry blonde is what I was thinking. I actually have his hair. I would like to show it one of these times I've been meaning to. So if you are a artist or a rooter that has time to grow Liam some hair, I definitely want it to be one hair at a time. So micro-rooting, if... I don't know if it's micro-rooting or mono-rooting, how you say it. I still, um, you know, I do believe I can do it, but it's not, I don't want to practice on a baby that's already been reborn in my collection. Um, like I said, I have reborn a few babies, and the paint has turned out absolutely gorgeous. I would buy it for my collection, and you know um, how picky I am. But I'm just not comfortable yet with uh, rooting. Um, and you, you just need practice. Basically, practice makes perfect, and I just don't want to 
practice on expensive kits or babies that are already in my collection. Now, I am so worried about these pants, guys. They're black. I just hope he'll be okay until Christmas. Um, I didn't test them. They are this, like, um, uh, soft velour feel, I guess it's velour. I hope he'll be okay. Because... I'm not sure if he has a varnish. It doesn't feel like he does, but that doesn't mean he doesn't. Um, I just hope, I hope everything's okay. It is scary when a, you know, I've never had a baby that's got died from clothing yet, but it's not to say it won't happen. Um, and it scares me. I didn't have time to wash any of the Christmas clothes, but this outfit actually came um, with my Sonny, my Theodore. But it came with the gray undershirt. So I took one of the onesies from one of my Christmas outfits. Because you wouldn't see it underneath the outfit anyways. And added it to this. And I think it matches so much better than what the gray onesie would have. Plus he gets to partake in the Christmas video. So. Because he wasn't going to. I didn't have an outfit for him. But I thought this would be perfect. Perfect, perfect. If I can get his big spreaded hand through here. He is a bigger, I, I would say on the larger size newborn, not quite zero to three, but newborn definitely fits him pretty much perfect. <laughs> I'm like switched walking around the tripod, each arm and stuff, so bear with me. But yeah, so he's definitely to where the clothes can fit him tight depending on the brand. But yeah, he's definitely a perfect newborn. Oh my goodness. I probably could put the boots back on him and he'd be cute. Because he actually has a little brown right there in his... Oh my goodness. So we gotta let cool little dude stick out. <laughs> oh, I love this baby. Can you guys see how precious he is? Alright. I may find something better for his feet, but for now, because they do have bows on them, I'm hoping I can fold it down. I might just put um, some different shoes on him later, but for now, we want to get some Christmas socks on him. <laughs> so the bows don't show, so that's good. That's good. Okay. So there is Liam, guys. He is all dressed and ready. I hope he's not being washed out. I am. I do have a lot of light on. Let's turn that one off. So there's Liam. All ready to go for Christmas. Okay, so I'm going to pause you and I'm going to bring the next baby. Okay, guys. So now I have Andy. And he is super happy to get his Christmas outfit on. So what I have. Oh, I didn't grab it. Let me grab it. So what I have picked out for him, if I can get to it without knocking everything over. Okay. So of course my daughter picked this one out as well because who's on the butt? Of course, penguins, and that is her ultimate favorite. Now I don't know if I want to do the long sleeve, which is all penguins, or there's the other onesie which says, let me grab it off here. It just says mommy's cool dude. So if he doesn't have a onesie on, I'll put that on him. If not, I'm just going to put the long sleeve on top and just save the onesie if I have another baby that might need to be changed. So, yeah, I'm going to save this onesie for something else because you're not going to see it underneath his outfit anyways. So we're just going to put the long sleeve part on him that has the owls all over it. And then, um, did I get him? I think... He's just going to have white socks on because I don't think I have uh, socks for him, booties for him. Because he's got bigger feet anyhow. So, uh, And we're probably going to leave his diaper on too because he takes bigger diapers. So you ready to get ready? He said, yes, I'm ready. Such a sweetheart. You guys haven't seen much of him and I feel horrible because he is a gorgeous chunky baby. So, I can't wait to start doing more videos of him. I do need to get more clothing for my 0-3 to three boys. 
because I really just didn't have any warm clothing. A couple of things, and I ended up putting the one sweat outfit that I did have on Jasper so you could see how cute he was. Oh no, I messed his hair up. There went his beautiful, he does have some, he has some beautiful soft baby fine hair. So natural looking. So there we go. My kids are outside playing hide and seek. I just saw him running through the, running past the window. <laughs> oh, there he is. See, I don't know what you're seeing. If that makes it too much light, not enough, I don't know. So hopefully this comes pretty, or you could see see them pretty good because um, it is daylight. I do have them in front of the window. It's just so hard to see what you're actually seeing. So hopefully you're seeing them very well. All right, buddy, let's get this on. I, I so wish I would have found pacifiers for these little guys. Christmas ones, but nowhere. Every place I went didn't have one Christmas pacifier, so it must have been some I should have snagged up pretty early. But maybe next year, say, there's always next year because I'm going to save all these Christmas outfits, and then maybe I can either switch them around or possibly gift them, buy more, I don't know. But always the best time to go Christmas outfit shopping after Christmas if there's any left because then you get deals but I gotta tell you I was lucky to find the outfits that I did find so I gotta believe <laughs> there's not gonna be anything left last time I looked I didn't even find anything so yeah oh so chunky oh and if you're wondering what that tapping is I just want to show you real quick these are my little elf and penguin dancing. <laughs> They're solar power. But they make that little tapping noise. I meant to show you guys that the other day. Because when I was sitting at the table, I heard them just tapping away from my actual lights. Because it was dark when they were actually working, which was shocking. So my daylights definitely work. Oh, isn't he precious? Oh, scrumptious. Got his hair all messed up, but he's still cute. All right, so let's get the penguin on his butt. So hopefully we're going to make it, guys. I just have, well, you know what? I have quite a few still left to dress, don't let me lie. <laughs> but I did dress one baby off camera, and it's because she's so little and fragile. I didn't want to do it on camera, so I will show you her. She's back in her tiny little car seat, but I had a little... Christmas 18 inch Christmas dress but I think it's for an 18 inch doll like um, uh, I don't know my what are they called my girl dolls I think anyways I think it it, it definitely is a beautiful dress um, I actually had it on my pixie at one point but I kept it for her so but it definitely fits for Christmas so I'd like to show you that before I end the video but there he is. Oh, he is just too precious. Let me show you his bum bum. He's a heavy boy. Oh, so there is his bum bum. <laughs> and his hair is all kinds of messed up. Let's set him up. Gotta move the little guys. Let's see. See, he's slouching a little bit, but he is sitting up. I can't wait to show you. Hold on one second. <laughs> so there's Andy. And I hope he's not as shadowed in the face as I see it. He definitely looks shadowed. Yeah, you're probably not even seeing him at all. So let me bring him closer to you. Yeah, you're probably not seeing him. But see. Mwah! Say Merry Christmas, everyone. Say, I am so sorry. Everything is shadowed. It's crazy. So there he is, just too precious. Say, look up at the camera so you can say bye. So there's my Andy, all ready for Christmas. And um, let me pause you so I can take you over to see uh, Rosie because she's looking so sweet. And uh, I'll probably end the video at that. So I will be right back.
So there she is. I know it's super shadowed over here, but she has this beautiful dress. And it's almost like a satin or a silk, but it's more of a, I guess, a ribbon feel, kind of rough. And it does have a little petticoat under it. She couldn't fit in the Christmas diapers, but look at those little feetsies. But she is so out of it. She was so exhausted from her outfit change. And I had to put a little bow right in her hair. And she's got her little lammy. But she is so restful, so peaceful looking when she sleeps. Don't forget, guys, she is still available for adoption. So if you're interested in this beautiful little girl, please let me know. But I am going to end the video here. So I want to say happy Merry Christmas Eve. But I will be back with more babies. Bye.